so we have been discussing um, this batch in over the past two days whether happiness is my innate nature or is it an external influence and this is something that is very basic to our exploration so in the workshop we have got the proposals and here we are trying to see the reality as it is so now going over this we saw that if happiness is our innate nature then it will be based on right understanding right feeling right thought in the self otherwise if it is an external influence i will try to fetch it from outside and when i go to fetch it from outside there are two primary sources one is through some favorable sensation from the body and the other is through some favorable feeling from others so what is my program what is my vision for a happy and prosperous life this is something that we are trying to explore and with that in view we had taken this assignment we are, had also said that we need to make a journal so let me just ask how many of us have made a journal in which we are noting our observation so every day you will be receiving an assignment those of us who have been attending the morning sessions earlier are already acquainted with it those of us who have joined new in this batch need to make a journal in that journal we can keep noting our observation and we see that there is a gradual progression also in our state of living in our state of imagination in our state of understanding when we try to look over the pages then we are able to see our previous state and the current state yeah so let me just ask how many of us have made the journal you can respond in the chat box please make a journal that will be required for your own observation let me say that in the morning session we do not take any assignment as such we do not conduct polls or quizzes we, there are no tests but what is expected is that we make a journal and start noting our observation yes there is one hand raised here so um after attending uh, the uhp sessions uhp 1 and uhp 2 i have also attended so uh, what i can feel is that uh, previously we have a different uh, idea about happiness we think that uh, our happiness is uh, related to excitement but now the concept of happiness is totally different uh whatever excitement happens it actually it is related to the external world um say uh, we have gone somewhere we are traveling to a new places we are we, we actually we thought that we are happy but actually that is related to our excitement that is that is not the definition of happiness happiness uh, for me after attending these sessions is actually what happened is that uh we should be stable at each and every moment of our life uh and how the stability would occur to us actually it is by the um by the method of uh, realization of the self and also by maintaining a very good relationship uh, with our family members with the society and the nature as a whole that means we have to maintain harmony at the four levels uh say uh, say something bad happens in our life but at that time we will be sad now the now the thing is that uh, previously we feel that we are unhappy at that moment but actually we are sad but that is not the meaning of unhappiness but at that time also if we can maintain and if we can understand ourselves that what is actually happening and uh, what is the what is the reasons and uh, what good decisions we can take at that time uh, and if everything is in proper order that would be the meaning of happiness sir am i clear to you uh see in simple words i'll say 
when i go to understand happiness i can see that happiness is to be in harmony yes sir at the four levels whatever is to exemplify young people so happiness is to be in harmony and whatever you said exemplifies how harmony we see in various levels of living nice good is it so happiness is not excitement yes sir yes we aspire for happiness to continue and excitement yes. is something is temporary and yeah the push went are when we get some favorable sensation from outside or mm-hmm. some favorable feeling from others mm-hmm. nice good yeah okay sir thank you nice yes uh, in first uh, step uh, happiness we uh, uh, should be within but we are uh, uh, expecting from the outside of the world so uh, this is uh, we have to convert it from inside and uh, second i think uh, i am restless person so not able to sit half an hour uh, without uh, any work of course without, while i can sit but without work i can't and uh, another thing i want to ask one question that uh, uh, we uh, as a uh, i uh can remain as in a sthita pragna sthiti that means what uh, first question was uh, a step that is uh, innate happiness uh, should be within and uh, of course uh, we are i am finding the happiness from the outside world so for example yesterday uh, i am searching for the some um, uh, uh, authorized person for uh, one ski uh, abhyan and uh, i found uh, uh, yesterday so i am i become happy so uh, that should not be there but uh, uh one thing i want to uh, say that uh, shall i remain in uh, sthita pragna sthiti that whether uh, happiness or sad uh, i will remain calm i, I should not uh, react anything without uh, means i am not a sad or not a happiness so is it uh, uh, it may be uh, means uh, other uh, means uh, other person may treat me as a a uh, different person so uh, is it uh, normal or uh, it will be abnormal yeah so basically when you say sthiti pragya that essentially means that due to some external factors sometimes i become excited and i call it happiness sometimes i yeah. become depressed so i will not be in that state yes isn't it so it's not that we do not want to be happy we want to be happy that to in continuity but when we equate happiness to excitement then we want to come out of that state also so i want to come out of excitement i want to come out of depression i want to be in a state which is acceptable to me naturally so this sthiti pragya essentially means that i am in a state of harmony within in continuity okay so one observation that you shared that you get restless you know so this yeah. is fine this is fine and we have to observe in fact as we go along we will be able to see what are the feelings in me which make me restless why do i get restless what am i aiming for what is my sanskar within what helps me decide so that i become restless so there are some deep sanskars in each of us and we have to explore them we have to investigate into them and then we have to see what is acceptable to us naturally so that we are able to be in accordance with that so uh, i have just uh, advise i mean uh, i am attending this ninth uh, um, online workshop so it's 5:30 to 6:30 from january to april and uh, uh, in january only i have attended introductory workshop so i have been advised to uh, uh, attend the offline workshop second uhv so is it uh, just now may i continue or uh, uh, you may uh, continue uh, did you get the certificate for the introductory workshop i uh, means introductory workshop i have got the certificate but uh, okay. two i have not done uh, but uh, immediately i got the message to con- uh, join this uh, workshop and i have joined this yeah, nice so you can uh, attend it now also we are going to have uh, two online workshops so you can attend it okay. now also yeah, okay, that okay. will help you further okay, okay. thank you thank you in the morning session to have at least gone through introductory workshop because the introductory part needs to be clear so that the words that we are using we are able to relate the right meaning to those words to, uh, to those words yes that's yes that's how we want the participant to attend the morning uh, 
इंट्रोडक्टरी वर्कशॉप एट लिस्ट ओके नाइस भैया ओके थैंक यू जी सो वी हैव टेकन दिस असाइनमेंट टू द सेम एज द प्रीवियस डे सो इज हैप्पीनेस योर इनेट नेचर और एन एक्सटर्नल इन्फ्लुएंस दिस इज समथिंग दैट आई हैव टू आस्क माय सेल्फ सो इफ यू सी आई वांट टू बी हैप्पी एंड दैट टू इन कंटिन्यूटी and if i analyze it there can be no continuity if the happiness appears for me as an external influence in fact this is a common mistake in our living also that we want to be happy in continuity we assume the source of happiness to be some external influence and then that's how we keep on working for it and whatever we get from outside is temporary and then what happens since it is temporary i need to change it so i am just looking for new and new things from outside new ways of making me happy and that's how we can see that there is a lot of consumption there is a lot of indulgence in the society because people are looking for newer things to keep them happy momentarily so as we go along and we do exercises 1 and 2 also that will make you more clear that how the source of happiness can be inside how it can be my innate nature so what is being suggested is that we can try sitting by ourselves and we can remove our gadgets like mobile laptop or newspapers or book and uh, just be with ourselves just find out for yourself let's say you have a holiday isn't it and on that holiday you do not have any gadgets any such uh, things with you there are no family members in the house and you are just with yourself you have slept enough at night now what is your program to be happy what will you do now can we spawn in the chat box you are just there with yourself you have a holiday there are no family members also in the house to talk to you don't have any gadgets also what will happen with you will you feel restless or will you feel at peace with yourself first thing if i am there with myself right there are no external influences do i feel at peace with myself or do i feel restless think about it So the important issue is am i at peace with myself am i happy by myself so this is also an added assignment that whenever you are there on a holiday and let's say you are in isolation then just try to observe your state of being are you comfortable with yourself are you at peace with yourself are you happy by yourself or you become restless you become uncomfortable what happens with you isn't it now the thing is that if i am not at peace with myself if i am not happy by myself then how can i be happy with others are others making me unhappy or i am unhappy within me and the other is just triggering it you can see that if i am not at peace with myself you know and then i am feeling unhappy with the other maybe the case that the other is just triggering the unhappiness in me <clears throat> so this is an important doable task try to find out whether i am comfortable with myself or not so for that like i gave an example of a holiday but for that you can try sitting by yourself every day and what we expect here in the morning session and this is something that we can take up as a project those who are continuing in the morning session they have already uh, gone through this but for those who have joined new you can take it as a project for four months and we are trying to investigate ourselves in this four months it's a doable project and i have to spend time for that 
you can just take it like a phd being done about oneself i am doing research over myself what i really want to be and what i am i am trying to conduct a research within myself i have to know my current state of being i have to know my desired state what i really want to be so in one word yes i want to be in with a state of happiness in continuity but what does it mean what is that state of continuity of happiness will i become inert will i become idle will i become uh, uh, lazy when i am happy by myself or will i still be active what is that continuity of state of being in happiness what does that mean what does that mean to you when you are happy in continuity what will you do so many times we assume happiness to be lack of unhappiness to be the absence of unhappiness is it the same for me also since i am unhappy so i look for happiness as absence of unhappiness let this not be there i am having some problem in relationship let this problem not be there i am having some health issue let this issue not be there i have some problem with my profession my job let this not be there i have some problem in my neighborhood let this not be there so many times we try to look for happiness as absence of unhappiness is it the same for me or i am clear about the state of happiness so what do i basically aspire for is this clear to me or not this is one important area to investigate second thing would be what is my current state of being what am i so what is my current state of being includes my behavior my work my participation my imagination my preconditionings my attitude my uh, ways of thinking my vision in life my objectives my goals my progress all that makes what i am so am i really aware of this so we have to investigate it. you may be doing so many things outside but i may not be clear about what i am and what i really want to be and there may be a large gap between the two so the first thing i said is that we can take it as an assignment that whenever i get a holiday or some occasion where i am there by myself i have to check whether i am comfortable with me or not or i have to look for gadgets i have to look for a plan to myself at peace with me to keep myself happy second thing i said that in the morning session what we are trying to do essential investigation about oneself i have to do a phd over myself and there are two realities what what i am and the other is what i really want to be is the reality like what i really want to be clear to me is my current state of being clear to me and then only i can see if there is a gap between the two so for that only we are saying that you know, try to be with yourself and observe yourself in the due course of time then you are able to see to what extent happiness is your innate nature that you are happy by yourself and to what extent you have to depend upon uh, external influences you will see that this is not something binary that yes happiness is my innate nature and that is there yes 100% or happiness is completely an external influence i will not say that this is something binary zero or one that you are either in this state in continuity or in that state in continuity no you will see that there is a mix sometimes i do feel happy from inside sometimes i do not feel happy from inside and i have to depend on external influences so in this of placing ourselves as zero or one i have to see to what extent i have to depend upon external influences when do i go for external influences many times you will see that let's say there is some disturbance within you something happen in your college in your family in your friend circle something happen and then you start feeling disturbed within you and then you see what is your tendency then one tendency could be that i try to be 
be at peace with myself by utilizing some external influence to just so that i can forget it or not just i can come out of that imagination i can just avoid it so something happened outside it disturbed me and then i have to depend on some external influence to be at peace with myself this is something that you can see you know might be happening so sometimes you are happy with yourself you are there comfortable with yourself within your own state sometimes when something untoward happens and then you have to depend on some external influence sometimes you will feel that within yourself you start feeling restless isn't it and you are looking for excitement there would be some changes taking place in your body there would be something you know, that becomes a compelling desire for you and you start looking for things outside to be happy so things like this would happen and then you can really study yourself and see when do i crave for something outside for happiness when do i do not crave what makes me crave for something outside for happiness what makes me be at peace with myself and there would be a lot of variation some of us would be having some kind of craving some of us would be having some another kind of craving some of us get disturbed because of certain incidents outside some of us do not get disturbed we all have our own sanskars and one is accept whatever i am able to see just to simply accept and then work upon it in place of saying that i am a person with right understanding or i am a person completely without right understanding we can see to what extent i am having my imagination by actual to what extent it is not there so notice if you are at ease comfortable within or uncomfortable within how long is it before you get restless and think of reaching for your mobile phone laptop getting up to go and meet someone etc and then you can note down in the journal is that okay there is sharing any question about what i said just to uh, share my experience of yesterday uh, while i was leaving my office in the evening I, I just happened to take the evil, and uh, there I could see one evil from Madhuralaya. Uh, some complaint to my office, and uh, and uh, my office didn't reply to the complaint. At the closure of my office, at the evening, uh, I just happened to check the emails uh, at my email box, and uh, I could see one evil from Madhuralaya regarding non-compliance of some uh, complaint made by a citizen to my office. and uh, and it was uh, there on apple sarkar there is a government portal and uh, and and because there was no one in the office i just uh, was that uh, i read that uh, complete letter and it was uh, sort of uh, that you did some mistake and you have to comply and you have to explain why you did not uh, attend to that letter now uh, as soon as i uh, read the letter i was a bit perturbed as to what was that complaint and because there was nobody in the office i couldn't get that as to which uh, later uh, we didn't respond i was just thinking and uh, i could see that yes i was a bit disturbed i was uh, not in harmony there were some issues that where did i uh, 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 we uh, left that uh, later or something then uh, for 10 15 minutes i could see that uh, 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 the harmony or so of, or, or that sort of uh, you know uh, in that disturbance was there uh, inside me now i sat there i uh, traversed through the past emails uh, but i couldn't see any uh, uh, there then uh, i thought because it was already uh, 6:30 in the evening and uh, there was nobody and uh, because of all these elections we were all busy so uh, Yeah, you can keep it brief. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, yeah. You can keep it little brief, boy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, 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 boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to share that. Uh, then, uh, uh, I had uh, dropped uh, uh, one message in my um, uh, official of uh, this uh, WhatsApp uh, group, and uh, uh, 
sharing that sharing the same message to uh, everyone in my uh, team now after that after that i, I could see that uh, i was a bit relaxed and then uh, i got a call from one of my subordinate and they said that sir, sir there was email somewhere uh, he could remember that and uh, he told me that uh, we have replied that uh, already now for uh, for this uh, 45 minutes uh, i was uh, feeling you know i was feeling something like a disturbance something uh, just uh, that uh, it, it is not good for all of us or something like that so so many thoughts were coming in my mind but as soon as i got a call from him that uh, sir we had already replied and we can give uh, uh, a reply tomorrow uh, uh, reminding the government that this yes, uh, we had already complied with uh, uh, to that complaint so after that i got uh, relaxed now here i could see that uh, when i i got the solution uh, of the problem uh, i was stable i was at peace so this is the observation which i am uh, just want to share here. i want to share here sir yeah nice nice dia so what you can do you can recollect that also and just see if the email had not been sent then what would happen to your state yeah that was all uh, that was all just i was going through it yeah what would you look for to keep yourself at ease with yourself so try to look into this this is just a typical case how we become restless how we become uncomfortable with ourselves and if i have to look into my role where which i had to play and which i couldn't because of which something untoward happened outside then i am able to see that i have to transform myself i have to be more responsible and have to work for it but at least i have to be clear how i become uncomfortable and how i try to make myself comfortable is it <clears throat> by my own imagination that i become comfortable or i have to look for some external influences yes nice me yeah yeah but that, but that time also i was just looking for the solutions also uh, because i have traversed to all the emails and uh, i have shared the message to my group uh, team members and then i got the message then the solutions were there but uh, but this sharing is to uh, tell uh, you share to you that uh, for the 45 minutes i was a bit perturbed and as soon as i got the solution of it i was at peace yes yeah. yes thank you yeah. thank you ek kal ka incident ye hai ki mujhe kuch data share karna tha apne office mein aur thoda sa huge data tha wo main sare din laga raha और बहुत मैंने शिद्दत से प्रयास किया लेकिन शाम तक मैं उसको नहीं बेच पाया इवन रात तक मैं आठ बजे तक लगा रहा बहुत प्रयास भी करता रहा अब उसका परिणाम ये हुआ कि मैं रात में सो तक नहीं पाया ठीक से आई डिन माई बैच मतलब मैं ये मैं ये सोचा दैट आई एम इन कम्पिटेंट समर्स आर एबल टू डू वेन देन बाई आई myself not i will try my best and uh, this is the question and so what is the question question ye main pareshan kyu ho raha bhai to aapko kuch zimmedari mili thi wo zimmedari theek se puri nahi hui ab jab zimmedari theek se puri nahi hui then what are the thought occurring in you what imagination you were having that is something that you have to see what troubled you so you are having some desire that i have to share this data by this time yeah and, I, and that could not be fulfilled now if some desire is not getting fulfilled and i become i am i am becoming restless i am becoming uncomfortable then i have to see what is my sanskar associated with it why do i become restless what is happening to me what are the fears in me now is there some fear in me or is there some craving in me what is making me restless am i trying to prove myself as something which could not be proved or am feeling responsible to the outside world and i feel that i could not fulfill my responsibility properly what is there going inside inside me i have to find out is it some fear is it some craving which did not get fulfilled it is some sense of responsibility that could not be fulfilled what is that i have to find it out ओके भैया ओके ओके थैंक यू नाइस सो 
if the happiness is my innate nature then the effort to ensure happiness would be within by ensuring right understanding in the self by ensuring right feeling and right thought in the self and even if we did not pay attention to the self and you know, now we can start doing that but if it is some external influence the common method would be <clears throat> getting happiness from outside and one source could be from the taste of favorable sensation obtaining favorable sensation through the body ensuring the physical facility to the contact of which favorable sensation is obtained we'll look into it what would be the sources for favorable sensation but just try to look on uh, what sources do we keep on trying for to get favorable sensation in terms of food in terms of music in terms of some videos in terms of some uh, uh, smell in terms of some touch and uh, we keep on trying to be at ease with ourselves to some favorable sensation and you can just see that when people do not have enough physical facilities for them then they are in trouble but when they have enough physical facilities now for the sake of happiness they go into indulgence by trying to ensure happiness through favorable sensation many times now they are paying more for food they are paying more for uh, sensual pleasures isn't it and that becomes a common norm like one kind of scenario is when people say that we do not have enough physical facilities what to do how to survive and when they have physical facility to survive then they will go into indulgence and this they will say that yes this is life what am i earning for what should i do my money what should i do with my money this is just the way to keep me happy my family happy and we get into such things so we never feel prosperous that way that is another important thing that when i try to fetch happiness from outside through physical facilities through some favorable sensation it is never enough i can never see the limit to the need for physical facilities so within me i am restless i am also feeling deprived because whatever i do i feel that it is less i should be getting somewhat more whatever increment i get in my job it appears as if it is still less if i get some more increment i will enjoy better isn't it and that's how we can see that the whole market is operating if you look at the market there are certain items which fulfill the needs of the body for nurturing protecting and right utilizing but there are so many things which are otherwise just for sensual pleasures the market is full of such items and the more so called development takes place the market gets full of so many otherwise items and we spend so much of time you know fulfilling uh our desires for sensation we make separate programs for that similarly from the taste of favorable feeling so there is a lot of show off you can see and to get some favorable feeling from the other we try to go for show off we try to display our wealth we try to display our facilities so that the other can pay attention to us so we try to display through in our clothes through our uh, vehicle through our objects in house and they just rush for it there would be an ad sometime back i don't know whether it is being shown today or not and there is there is a company called olx and the punch line was beach day so every 6 months you have to sell off we saw in the that video story of stuff that in us 99% of the commodities in the house house, house are sold off every 6 months they are thrown away and people try to renew it renew the curtain renew the sofa renew other facilities in the house because i am trying to fetch happiness either from the sight of all these things or by showing off these things to the other person in my neighborhood in my friend circle if i am calling a friend to my house and he sees that if after 2 years the same sofa is being used then what will he say what will think of me so why not go for a new sofa why not go for a new curtain why not go for a new setting in the house if i am using the same car for 5 years what will friends say of me so why not go for a new car isn't it it may be the case that i do not need a car but still i went for a car i purchased a car and i 
try to change my car every three years, five years. You can do. Now I can see that in colonies, people have fights for the parking lot because now families are having more than one cars. The families are having bigger cars. And if you ask whether they really need that vehicle or not, and most of the time it is said, it is seen that no, they do not actually require the vehicle, but they are going for it just for show off. So another source could be when I am trying to fetch happiness from the test of favorable sensation, favorable feeling from the other. So ensuring these feelings through work and behavior like wealth accumulation, domination, acquiring position, fame, yeah, by acquiring position also. I might have a craving to acquire a higher position so that people look at me you know, uh, and they pay attention to me. When I go to a party, people say that, oh, this person is this kind of thing. You know. Some salutation is added to my name. See, when I'm trying to fetch happiness through these sources, you can see that I'm always craving for happiness from outside and I'm restless within. I'm not at peace with myself. There is neither definiteness that the other person will pay attention to me. There is no continuity. So maybe you go for a very special kind of clothes, put it on and go to a party. Now looking at the same clothes, some person may appreciate, some person may mock, some person may ignore. All those possibilities are there. It is not definite whether I will get respect out of that clothes or not. Whether the other person will pay attention and I will get happiness out of it or not. So it is not definite. It is not continuous also. Even if somebody is appreciating, one will not keep on appreciating for long. It will get over after some time. And then you can see where are my eyes looking for. Looking for what are my eyes looking for? I am looking for others so that people come to me and appreciate me. You just look at the state of imagination. You, know, you feel as if a scanner is there over yourself. And just see you know, how my eyeballs are moving. I am looking for people who can come close to me and appreciate my clothes, my garment, my accessories. Isn't it? I am craving for happiness from outside. It is an external influence for me and I am not at peace with myself. If nobody comes to talk to me, nobody comes to appreciate me, I feel that my money has gone wasted, got wasted away. And I spent so much and I still could not manage to get anything from outside. And then I start cursing people. I start blaming people. Oh, these people do not value things. And these are uh, mediocre people. These are <laughs> old generation people. They do not know. You just see my watch, I purchased it, so costly watch and people do not know this brand also, what these people are good for. Does this happen? It might be happening before we came across this content, isn't it? But we can see this kind of trend in the society. The watch that we are using, the shoes that we are using, the clothes that we are using. Many times it is just for show off. So. We were paying attention to these externalities earlier. Now we need to pay attention within. So one thing to decide is that do I want to be happy innately or do I still want to continue with all this? Going for external influences. At least my desire has to be clear. Do I want to continue with this? Because most of the time, since I have been working for favorableness from outside, I may still have the desire to continue with that. In fact, there is a cousin of mine. Uh, he keeps on doing something for exploration also. But he will come to me sometime. And once he said that, I am not able to see any permanence in me. I am not able to see any definite shift in me. Now, the problem that I find with him is that is trying to manage both the things. So when he is there outside in the society, he is trying to manage the external influences. But when he is there with me or when he is there in some program for self-exploration, he is trying to look for happiness within. So many times we try to manage things. While we are in one kind of program, we try to look for happiness within. When we are in the outside world with people, we try to go by these conditionings. And then we are not able to have some definite transition or definite transformation in ourselves. So first of all, I have to see 
on which side I want to be on the left hand side or the right hand side. Nice. Uh, when we talk about sitting aside and look within, I mean, uh, looking or observing ourselves really helps is what I could observe yesterday. I There was some uh, small work in college, a, a, a record has to be prepared. Since long, I was just procrastinating that. And um, uh, when I took that work at hand, I could find that I was a little um, anxious to complete that work. And then, uh, I mean, I was too anxious. And obviously, when we are anxious, we find that some uh, it comes on body. Like I was trying to shake my legs and I was uh, in hurry to finish it up because since long it was pending and I had to return the file. And um, I could see that when it, when I paid attention to that, uh, I decided that I will, otherwise I would have shifted to some other work. But then I had made a decision that I have to complete this. And with proper determination, I completed that work uh, because I paid attention to myself. And when I, uh, when my legs were uh, shaking, like I, the way sometimes uh, when we are restless, uh, we do. Uh, so uh, I even paid attention to that and I uh, ensured that I do not shake my legs anymore and uh, peacefully I completed that work and that um, I mean uh, that restlessness also reduced and that satisfaction of completing the work was also there. In short, I just want to um, tell out of this that after paying attention, a lot of things get resolved at our own end. And um, otherwise, we keep this thinking in our mind, like that work is pending, that work is pending or something like that. So it is uh, really helping um, when we pay attention is what I wanted to share with you. Thank you. Nice, nice, Didi. So a lot of responsibility is going to come on to you. So be prepared. <laughs> yes, Bhaiya, thank you yes, so much. Exactly. And yes, I know work. as we <laughs> rightly said, Bhaiya, as we go on completing the work, more and more responsibility comes and then we are uh, to, because there, yet there are a lot of things which I have to do, but then uh, managing time uh, sometimes becomes an issue. But then last moment comes and now you have to submit it and uh, that moment comes and then we panic. So slowly uh, by paying attention, we can uh, utilize our uh, time slots properly so that uh, that uh, panicky moment doesn't come. In our lives. <laughs> Bhaiya, thank you, Bhaiya. Nice, Didi. Yeah, so the process of right understanding that is self-exploration. So how to ensure happiness innately? Now, the question arises, yes, I want to be happiness by innate nature. So how to go about it? So what will the process for it? So one important thing is that whatever is coming from outside, I can take it as a proposal. So whatever is stated is a proposal. No need to assume it to be true or false. Verify it on your own right. So something is being said by me here. Take it as a proposal. Okay. It might be the case that you have been listening to these words time and again. Now you are accustomed to the use of words, natural acceptance, prosperity, happiness, sensation, excitement, all these things. And I also have to check within whether I have got accustomed to these words or I am able to see the meaning of these words. So still I say that let us take it as an open proposal without assuming it to be true or false. The more you keep it as a proposal, the better state is there for exploration within you. The more you start taking it as a kind of uh, given thing, you become accustomed to it and the exploration stops. Then you become conditioned. It may be the case that we have been using the word intention and competence for three years, five years. We assume that yes, it is clear to me, but I am still doubting the intention. And I am not clear what is happening wrong with me. I am saying that yes, intention is pure, but why the other person wants to oppose me then? Now, what does it mean? If I am able to see that the intention is pure, then how can it be the case that the other wants to oppose me? So, we have to take this whole thing as a proposal every moment. 
and that's how i say that we have to take it afresh let us start afresh start let us start looking at things afresh let us start looking at the reality ma'am looking at my body i have to look at my body afresh whether this is my body what the body means what my means what is means so the more we take anything being said to us as a proposal we are in a better state to explore and then verify on your own right so one important part of this process for self exploration which can ensure happiness innately is to listen to the proposal many times we we'll see that we do not listen to the proposal also and it may be kind of uh, our own process of uh, going ahead also many times when so many things are being said in one go we are not able to listen to the whole proposal in one go and then we are able to listen it piece by piece so something which has been said time and again many times it occurs to us after two batches three batches or in some uh workshop when i have attended multiple workshop it occurs fresh to me that is also possible so one important task is to listen to the proposal you know we generally use a word take off when we are conducting workshop in face to face mode we use the word take off that i listen to something and i take off because i am carried away by some imagination within me and then for some time i'm not listening to what is being said so i have to listen to the proposal one thing second thing i have to refer the proposal to my natural acceptance so that i can verify it. is it what is acceptable to me naturally within you know within myself do i really want it or in other words is it my inner concerns does it match with my inner concerns what is it so i have to refer the proposal to my natural acceptance and the next thing is to validate it in my experience live accordingly this is also very important to live accordingly unless i live accordingly it may be the case that i am just analyzing some proposal and i come to believe that i understood it if i understand something i cannot go otherwise for example i have a mobile in my hand isn't it if i have to keep the mobile somewhere i will keep it on some hard object i will not leave it leave it in the air because i know that this mobile cannot be held you know by the air this can be held atop something rigid so that's why i never by mistake also leave my mobile in the air assuming that it will uh, remain there itself so if i understand something uh, i will not have any otherwise option also <coughs> so when i go to very very date it experientially then i become clear whether i have understood it or i have only given a thought to it so when i validate in my experience then i interact with conscious unit i interact with the material unit so i interact with human beings i interact with the rest of nature and i can see when i am interacting with a human being whether i am ensuring mutual happiness whether i am interacting with happiness with the other and it is also ensuring happiness in the other or this mutual happiness is not taking place somewhere i get perturbed within somewhere the other person gets disturbed within somewhere i become uncomfortable somewhere the other person becomes depressed what is happening in my behavior similarly in my work with the rest of nature whether i am ensuring mutual prosperity or i am depleting depriving exploiting the rest of nature what is happening so i have to look into this now when i listen to the proposal as it is i verify within and find that yes this is naturally acceptable to me and i'm also able to validate in my experience it becomes a part of my understanding so i come to understand it and the more i investigate it isn't it i'm able to awaken the higher level activities in me and the right understanding is ensured so the high level activities of contemplation understanding and realization we'll discuss at length also so i am able to awaken those activities and once they are awakened they continue they are awakened now i am always able to see the reality as it is i am able to see the human being as it is the relationship as it is the nature as it is the space as it is 
my submergence and the submergence of my entire nature in space as it is and becomes a part of my understanding right understanding and then my source of happiness is within me i have been running here and there for happiness i have been so doing so many things outside for happiness accumulating indulging exploiting people exploiting the rest of nature maybe cheating people you know maybe disturbing the society maybe using unethical practices for the sake of happiness and i am not happy within but once i get the right procedure for this i get the right process for this i will to see that yes this can be awakened within me i was fooling myself running for happiness outside now i have the right program for me within me this is what we are working for nice uh like a continuity of the previous discussion like of course we were able to understand the happiness is innate in nature and also i am ensuring that it should come from my my within like uh, that like that should be my own feel i should not rely on others that i am also understanding so that way only it will be continuous like if i am feeling uh, my happiness is coming from myself it will be continuous where we are expecting the same it should not uh, come from how others are reacting that i could even to understand like uh, with the reference to the previous slides a previous previous slide i should ensure that uh, it should like the uh, it should come from the right understanding a natural acceptance or right understanding it should not rely on or depend on the sensations that also i am understanding from this slide i could able to understand if i am anything any purpose that if it's coming to me i need to verify on the basis of uh, the uh, natural acceptance and uh, and also like uh, experimental validation through uh, the behavior with the human beings and work with the rest of the nature like uh, like i am in a little bit confusion ji that is a work like a live according to behavior with the human being like a rest of nature may i have a doubt in that ji yeah so i need physical facilities for nurturing my body for protecting my body for rightly treating the body now how i am arranging these facilities is it okay. by exploiting the nature or by enriching the nature okay so for example i have to arrange for food okay. now the way i am cultivating is okay. it depleting the soil is it you know no. spoiling the no. soil culture no no or no no spoiling the soil culture no no okay it is not depleting or not affecting the soil culture actually yeah this is something that i have to keep myself open for i'll observe it i'll find it out okay okay In place of saying, "I know completely yes" or "completely no," we'll see in what terms it is yes, in what terms it is no. Okay. Okay. Nice, nice, Didi. Okay. Okay. So today, uh, we started by discussing whether happiness is my innate nature or an external influence, and we saw that if happiness is my innate nature, then the source is right understanding, right feeling, right thought in the self. and for that i have to work for self exploration and in self exploration i have to listen to the proposal as it is and then i have to refer the proposal to my natural acceptance and also have to very validate it in my living in my behavior and work then it becomes a part of my right understanding if i am not doing that then somewhere i am depending on something outside for my happiness and momentarily i feel happy when the external influences work and there are two primary sources which are external to me for which i am craving for happiness one is the favorable sensation from the body and the other is favorable feeling from the other and i can see that there is no continuity definiteness of happiness there there is dependence outside now something that we discussed also that i have to find out and this is something that we can take up as an exercise also 
you can find out when i am there with me on some holiday and there are no external sources as such then am i at peace am i at ease with myself or i become uncomfortable second thing that we said that i have to look into these two realities what i am and what i really want to be so in place of again trying to close our eyes or trying to you know keep it aside uh, being not observant of what i am and trying to paint ourselves as something good or bad in place of that we'll try to see what i am what makes me unhappy what makes me happy when do i go, go for external influences when do i feel happy innately so what i am i have to be observant about that at the same time i have to see what i really want to be it has come as a proposal to us it has come as a word to us but within me i have to explore the meaning to investigate the meaning so we said that these four months of morning session where we are going to do exercise 1 and 2 is a kind of research work that i am going to do about myself isn't it so we'll get some assignment also some hands are raised but there is no time the time is over